Good morning children. In our last class, we saw two properties related to addition of whole numbers which were the closure property of addition and the commutative property. Now, let us see the other properties related to addition of whole numbers. Now, let us try adding three whole numbers. What is 2 plus 3 plus 4? Let's try adding them. First, we'll add 2 plus 3. So, 2 plus 3 are put under the brackets to show that this operation should be performed first then we will add 4. So adding 2 plus 3 first we get the answer as 5. Now we will add 4 to it. So we get 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. Let us group 3 and 4 now and do the addition. So we will group 3 plus 4 and add it first. So we will write as 2 plus in the brackets 3 plus 4 which indicates we need to add 3 plus 4 first. So 2 plus now we will add 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7. Now we got 2 plus 7. Let's add it. 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Here again the answer is 9. Let's try another way to add these three numbers. So first here we'll add 2 and 4. So let us group them. This is equal to 2 plus 4 in brackets indicating we need to add them first plus 3. Now if we add 2 plus 4 we will get 6 and we need to add 3 here. What is the answer? 6 plus 3 is equal to 9. So, we see in all the three cases where the grouping was different, we get the same answer which is 9. So, what can we say? When we are adding 2 plus 3 plus 4, then adding 2 plus 3 first, then 4 to it, or adding 3 plus 4 first then adding 2 to it or adding 2 plus 4 first and adding 3 to it we get the same answer in all the three cases which is 9 and you know what is this called this is called associative property of addition so what is associative property of addition when we are adding whole numbers, three or more in number, the sum doesn't change even if the grouping is changed. Understood? Now, let us figure it out. What can be added to 7 so that the answer is 7 only? Or what can we add to 9 such that the answer is 9, which means the number remains unchanged, which means the number remains unchanged. Let us see. If we add 0 to 7, the answer is 7 only. Or if we add 0 to 9, again here the answer is 9 only. So, the 7 is unchanged here by addition of 0 and 9 remains unchanged by addition of 0 to it. What does it say? It says adding 0 results in the same number. So, 7 plus 0 is equal to 7, 0 plus 9 equal to 9. This shows adding 0 to any whole number, the number remains unchanged, which means the identity of the number is not changed. It remains the same. Hence, 0 is called the additive identity of a whole number because the whole number doesn't get changed when 0 is added to it. Understood?
next what did we see we saw the associative property which means well we are adding whole numbers three or more in number the sum doesn't change even if the grouping is changed what does it mean let us see it means when we add 2 plus 3 first then add 5 or if we add 3 plus 5 then add 2 in all the cases the answer is same which is equal to 10 now last property which is the additive identity what did we see if we add 0 to any number the sum is the same number or the identity of a whole number remains unchanged when 0 is added to it so the 0 is called the additive identity of a whole number that's all for now bye bye children